Yo, what is up guys? It is CRPHD back with another video. So I've been making videos on YouTube for about the past four to five years. I specifically uploaded my first piece of content onto YouTube back in August 26, 2017, along with a lot of other videos, but this was at a point in time where I was mainly focused on quantity, not quality. Uh during my pre-K time, I bounced around from multiple different video editing programs on multiple different platforms. Some of the most notable ones were HitFilm Express, Video Leap, iMovie, and LumaFusion, just to name a few. HitFilm being the only desktop class video editing software on this list, it was also by far the most overwhelming at this point in time in my YouTube career, which had a very big influence with me just going forward editing on mobile devices for a very long time. This led to my initial purchase of the iPad Pro 9.7 inch all the way back in 2017, which at the time was a very powerful and compact device, but the limited storage led me to have a very complex and difficult editing process down the road. It was very hard editing videos only having 32 gigabytes of storage on an iPad whenever I have just all these different apps that I use to make these videos and edit and importing all the files. Like it was too much of a struggle um, it wasn't moving as fast as I would like it to. So ultimately, with my things that I do, I really needed to upgrade. More recently, within the grand scheme of things, I did end up purchasing the 12.9 inch iPad Pro with 64 gigabytes of storage to try and combat that issue, as well as I also made the switch from iMovie and learned LumaFusion. LumaFusion is probably the closest thing that you can get to a professional desktop class video editing software on a mobile device at least. But even then, I still came to certain points of time to where I would need more storage on my iPad, as well as I feel like I hit a creative ceiling with the software overall. And that is what finally led me to the inevitable to learn Final Cut Pro. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? to me so my first time using final cut pro was actually pretty smooth i give the credit to LumaFusion for putting me on the right foundation and making that transition from that mobile editing experience to final cut pro which is like i said a desktop class editing software fairly easy even though we're talking about a large gap regarding overall software capability obviously final cut pro has that in the bag there wasn't too much different at least when it comes to the basics Applying transitions and effects, knowing how to stack and layer different clips, whether that be audio or video, and making slightly more advanced edits just came easy to me. Probably my biggest gripe with switching was the fact that I was used to a touch interface on my iPad Pro, but now of course coming over to Final Cut Pro and using my iMac, the only way to maneuver the software is by using the mouse and keyboard, which just took a little bit of a learning curve. I did end up pulling the trigger on the Magic Trackpad, which has helped me out tremendously with navigating the timeline and other small parts within the software, and overall has saved me a lot of time at the end of my editing days. If you are curious to see how my first edited video on Final Cut Pro came out, you can go check out my iMac desk setup tour video, as well as any other video after that. Um, they were all edited on Final Cut Pro. Heck, even this video, for example. Till this very day, I'm still finding and learning about new features to make my overall video quality better and lifting that creative ceiling that I mentioned earlier. As well as my storage management struggles that I had along the way are now non-existent thanks to the fact that I edit off of a two terabyte external hard drive and have the flexibility of a desktop class video editing software and operating system. Altogether, Final Cut Pro has pretty much been a win 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 overall and has exceeded all of my expectations and if you are a complete beginner getting into final cut pro i would highly recommend that you check out claudia carlucci's beginner final cut pro tutorial she does a great job going over all the basic fundamentals to get you up and running and it really helped me out in my early stages so i'm more than positive it'll help you as well the link to that video will be down in the description below. And that is pretty much everything, guys. That has been my switch to Final Cut Pro, a little bit of a backstory and how it has been going over, I want to say the past six months, half a year or so. And uh, yeah, thank you guys as always for being here. I really appreciate you sticking around towards the end of the video. Make sure to stay tuned because the next video is right on the corner. Peace.
And if you guys are still around, this is the first video that I'm shooting in my room, in my dorm. So new setup. Hope you guys like it. Uh, everything is pretty much the same exact way in the um, the iMac uh, desk setup tour. So that's kind of why I haven't done like a remake of like a college dorm setup. Because like I said, it's pretty much the same. It's just on a different table. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for staying after for this.